Hello viewer, thank you for joining me today. Um, as you will have seen in the description and in the little flash before this video started, um, I'm going to be looking at some juices from Isle of Custard. And they all look pretty much the same. Same kind of theme, same labels. Um, obviously got just different names on. Um, now I have opened these because I've pre-juiced the first three. Um, they are tamper evident seals, they are child proof caps, there's a, a raised triangle on the top there, um, on the on the bottles, let's put my eyes on so I can see what I'm talking about, um, on the bottles we've got the ingredients, we've got warnings, uh, we've got um, blended by the, in the United Kingdom, by the Isle of Custard with their address and so on. It's got an 18 on it, and on the little bar at the bottom, we've got a 10 ml size, <coughs> excuse me, it's 3 milligrams of nicotine, and it's a 7030 VGPG. So that's the theme for all of these. Um, they're all custards, obviously. Isle of custard. Oh shit, Sherlock. Um, <coughs> in, in some form or other. So. Yes, I have bought these, so I, I did buy them about two weeks ago as they've been sitting around. Um, but they're all sort of custard, and I picked, they do a breakfast range. Um, let's have a look at the website, I'll tell you quickly before we kick off. Um, they have Pirates e liquids, Pirates, um, and in that you've got Pirates custard, Custard clouds, Captain's breakfast table. And then bundles and specials um, <clears throat> and things like that. So, website's pretty informative, pretty cool. It's, it's obviously a pirate theme and whatever. Um, so, yeah. So, moving on. The first one we're going to do is Cutlass Custard. Not Cutlass, Cutlass. So, I want to kick this off at four volts. No, I'm not. I'm going to kick it off at 30 watts because I've got a dual core in it. No, I haven't. Ignore me. Um, yeah, for those of you that know me, I, I, I'm a complete 180 from a, a six month, two, six weeks, two months ago. I couldn't get custards to save my life. Um, but that is a nice custard. Um, cream, creamy custard. So a really rich, creamy custard. Um, it's not too heavy on the vanilla. Um, I'm getting nothing else in it. Um, I'm just getting a creamy custard. A very nice creamy custard, if I may say so, which I may because I can say what I like. <laughs> but yeah, it is a nice custard. Let me just sort of say about cutless custard. Cutless, cutless. Speak properly, fugly. Cutless custard. It do said rich, full-bodied vanilla custard with masses of thick double cream. I can't argue with that. That's a that's a dairy lover's delight. That is. Um, so yeah, that's that's cutless custard. Nice. Let's hope the other four is just as nice, eh? Let us see. What do we got now? I don't know, Fudgy. You tell me. We have son of a biscuit eater. Son of a biscuit eater. If the camera decides he wants to focus today. Son of a biscuit eater. Um, let's see if we get out of there. That doesn't smell 
half as custody as the first one. So let's give it a give it a blitz and see what happens, shall we? Three point seven volts to kick off with. expecting um, I was expecting either custard or biscuit um, I'm not at the moment getting either of those things so let me put a bit more on well, I have so I've produced these um, <coughs> so I would have thought the flavour should be there by now. Um, bit of an anticlimax really from that first one. The first one was lovely. Instant hit of cream. That's better. A bit more juice on front of it. Oh, okay. Five volts. I'm getting a a biscuit, um, not a sweet biscuit, not a savoury biscuit, obviously. Um, Of a strange one. I get custard now. Nowhere near as creamy as the first one. It, it's a Yeah, it's a strange one. That. Um, as you can see, that the the vapor is pretty damn dense, um, and I'm running single coil on all of these, so it's not. And they're only twisted cans. They're nothing. They're not clapped. There's nothing. Nothing fancy about the coils. Um, That is, that is, um, yeah, I, I get more of the, the biscuit than I do the, the custard. Get vanilla um, certainly isn't as creamy a custard as the first one. Um, whether it's a lighter, a lighter custard, certainly that one was was heavy, thick with custard. Let's just see what they say on the website. Son of a biscuit eater. Specially rich. Vanilla custard with a sweet cream topping and golden biscuit crumb. The biscuit I get, the 
the custard I get, mildish custard compared to the first one, um, but no cream. I'm getting no cream at all in this. So maybe my taste buds are shot to hell. <laughs> Doomed myself by saying I could taste custards, didn't I? Um, hang on. That tastes like a ginger nut biscuit. I could be wrong, but I I I think I'm tasting ginger nut biscuit with a light custard, but I'm not get in the cream. Sorry Isle of Custard, you've lost me on that one. The next one is the ship's doctor. So, same rules apply. Fresh wicks, fresh batteries, fresh coils on all these strippers. As you can see I've got two on the bar and one on the, the first one on the uh, dark horse. So, ship's doctor. expecting that either. Um, I didn't get cream or custard but what I did get unless I've gone completely bonkers that's apple pie. And a nice apple pie too. Um, I'll have to check it in a minute. In case I've got completely off, the, off my rocker, but it does taste like I'm getting the, the the pastry, the apple pie pastry with the apple. Yeah, that is definitely. I've got to I've got to check some time at the wall. What's it called? Ship's Doctor. Um, Ship's Doctor. Ship's Doctor. Ship's Doctor. The Captain's Favourite. Creamy custard with a sweet, crumbly apple pie. Yep. Again, I'm not getting a, a creamy custard. It's not a a flat custard. It's not as much vanilla in this as there was in the first one, but um, it's nice. It's a very nice vape. I could vape that all day long. Um, if you like apple pie and custard, give yourselves a go. All I want about it. Um, they they're currently charging um, four pounds for. Let me have a look. I'm assuming I'm not going to my basket. I'll do it from there. Um, yeah, four pounds for 10 mil, 30 mil, 10 pound 50, and 110 mil for 26 pounds. So, yeah, four pounds for 10 mil is not a bad price um, at all. Not sure about the shipping. I can't say, I've had them about a fortnight, so I can't tell you. Um, That's nice. That is a nice apple pie. Um, little hint of cinnamon in the apple pie. Um, nothing over the top because I'm not a great fan of cinnamon on its own. Um, so I'm going to do. I'll get these cleaned off and I'll get the the bowls re-wicked. I'll come back with the last two. So I'll see you back here in a sec. Right, viewer, <coughs> I'm back. <coughs> Still got a frog in my throat. I'm back. Um, the next one we're going to do is 
sea dogs custard whatever that's all about <coughs> so <coughs> excuse me sorry for deafening you sea dogs custard well i've got to say if nothing else that the initial vape that the first inhale of each of these four has been different to the previous one um, which is nice because I wouldn't want to get custard 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 and nothing but um, that'd get a bit samey wouldn't it but um, I don't quite know what I'm getting with this one yet <clears throat> try and keep my larynx lubricated <clears throat> Not sure what I'm getting yet. I'll let you know as soon as I do. Forty volts, forty-four point eight watts <coughs> on a on a on a 0.56 coil I've got the mild custard now. <coughs> I've got something else there that I can't quite put my finger on. Yes. Talk amongst yourselves for a minute while I try and sort out what this is off the tasting. <coughs> I'm just going to pause this video, is it? Sorry about that. I uh, need to get rid of that cough. I was going to start to annoy you and me if it hadn't already. Um, right, yeah. Getting custard with something sweet. Um, Worked last time, didn't it? Gave me the flavour last time. So <coughs> sorry about that. Do excuse me. I do apologise for this bloody annoying cough. Um, 
Oh, <laughs> that till I start the video. Happens every time. <clears throat> it's getting beyond a joke now. I think someone's trying to tell me something. But uh, anyway. Taste. They just hate it when this happens. You get you get a flavour. You can't put your finger on it. You know what it is, but you can't put your finger on it. I'll turn this wick down just for a minute or so, just to see what happens. <coughs> this coffee is getting on my nerves. I want to say caramel, but It's sweet. Ooh, ooh, hang on. Hang on. Just turn this airflow down. <coughs> See if that helps because strap on. <coughs> Give me a second, folks. <coughs> Try and identify this bloody flavour, it's going to drop out the wall until I do snow. Sweet, but not sickly sweet. I want to say toffee, but it's not. Um, it's not. It's not as sweet as toffee. It's not as sickly as toffee can be. Um, I will get it. I don't have to cheat. Toffee, caramel, treacle, 
שולל איום. I was going to put toffee with ice cream, are they? <coughs> or are they? <coughs> Maybe they are. Which one to put in? Maybe. I'll have to cheat. I don't know. Um. <coughs> Sea dogs custard, where are you? Where are you? <coughs> there we go. A deliciously rich, creamy custard. Again, I'm, I'm not getting the cream in the custard. Um, with a delicious sp splodge of homemade sponge pudding. So it was sponge pudding. So. I can't, I would have got it eventually probably, but um, it wasn't glaringly obvious. The sponge, if that's the sponge pudding, the sponge is very light. Um, I get a so, toffee caramel treacly taste, but not as sweet. So it probably is a treacle sponge or a syrupy sponge of some description. Golden syrup, probably. We'll, we'll, we'll take that as it's a, a sponge pudding and custard. Um, so I can't say it's bad, a bad juice. It might be me having a, a bad day <clears throat> or just spoilt with the first one. Um, either way, we'll move on to the last one in this particular episode of the... Uh, Oil of custard juices. Let's put some more juice on here. And this one is called Galley Rats Pudding. Come on, camera. Don't you bloody start. Galley Rats Pudding. I <laughs> love some of these names. Um, let's have a sniff. <coughs> Don't smell a custard either. Um, so, some kind of pudding, I'm, I'm guessing, with a name. What kind of pudding? We don't know. Spotted dick, maybe. For all of you British people, you'll know what a spotted what a spotted dick is. For our American friends, um, it's not any kind of disease or anything unpleasant. It's very nice, actually. <laughs> yeah, had to be, it's one of them days. Note to self, turn your phone off before you start doing reviews, ugly. Anyway, <laughs> galley rats pudding. Do apologise for that second interruption. Right. Right. Fortuitously, having done that one and discovered it was sponge pudding, another one. Kind of strange, having two of the same. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely the same kind of flavour. So, yeah, so that's a sponge pudding. I think. 
now I'm starting to doubt myself now. It's got that same kind of sweet taste, but not over the top sweet. As the previous one. So, <clears throat> but there's more cream in this, I think. More cream for sure. Um, maybe they're not all custard then, maybe it's sponge pudding and cream. Kind of similar to the last one, but different in as much as it's more cream to it. It's also a tad sweeter, more of a coating on my lips. Could even be a treacle because it's a treacly toffee that kind of taste. So maybe that was a, a light sponge pudding. This one's got a slightly heavier syrup. <coughs> like a treacle or a Toffee or something. They're all nice. That they've all got their own little thing to them. The first one for me was definitely my favourite because it was just very heavy cream and custard. Um, the others have been okay, very good. Um, I'm going to say though that they're not easy juices to pick out. You, you, they don't smack you in the face as being this and custard or this and that. It, it, it's that they're, for want of a better phrase, they're quite complex. That the flavours sort of develop and they come and it's one of those you have to play around with the the wattages. I think with these, find yourself a sweet spot to get the benefit of the flavours. There's definitely more cream in this custard. It's a bit like, this one's a bit like a cross between the first one, which was a very creamy custard, and that last one, with the, the, the sponge pudding, but with something else to it. <clears throat> maybe a, as I say, maybe a treacle rather than a syrup. Uh, this might be a treacle sponge. Um, Let's have a look <clears throat> before I keep guessing myself to death. Galley Rats Pudding. Let's have a look. Galley Rats Pudding. Where are you? It'd be nice if they put an alphabetical order, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> if only. Um, uh, how can you not put these alphabetical order? We go from Blackbeard's Blood to Pieces of Ape to Galley Rats Pudding to a vast new custard. Galley Rats Pudding. Syrupy sponge pudding smothered in toffee sauce and topped with cream and a bucket full of rich vanilla custard. Um, yeah, I, I'd agree with most of that. The, the sponge pudding, yeah. Toffee, I, I can see the toffee because I was thinking treacle. 
um, and cream certainly. Custard is taking a bit of a, a back seat um, in this one. The cream certainly there. Maybe it's another range where I need a little bit, little bit, a little bit more steeping. But uh, so I've had them for a, a week or two. Um, but they're nice. So they're, I can't say they're bad juices. And at four pounds for ten mil, um, you can't really go far wrong. So <clears throat> if you like custards, apart from that link up there, which is not clickable, there will be a clickable link down in the description for the Isle of Custard. Um, I'll put the pricing and stuff um, and the timings, whatever, in, as I do. Um, what I'm not doing at the moment, I've stopped doing the, the whole listing of the what they say about it and blah, blah, blah. I'll just put the name of the juice and my rating. Um, and I rate them on, you know, um, packaging, flavour, accuracy of the description compared to how I taste it. Um, could I vape it all day and, you know, would I buy, you know, repeat amounts of the stuff? Um, and do I think it's worth <coughs> giving something a five out of five so that you guys can look at it and think, well, he likes that more than that one. So, you know, but again, th these things are very hard to do because obviously taste is very subjective and what I find in the juice, you might not, and you might find something I don't find and, Blah blah blah. So that's why I like the comments. If I put something in the juice and you try it and you get something different, bang a bang a comment down and I'll check them out and I'll respond to your comments, and you know we, we'll work it out. So yep, yeah, that's me done. Finally, <laughs> interruptions, coughing and all, postman, dogs. Um, so thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, thank you for sticking with me. Um, <clears throat> if you have liked it, leave me a like down there. Subscribe would be great. Um, <coughs> so, have yourselves a good day. More importantly, have yourselves a damn good vape. And I'll see you guys in the next one.